Hey guys, welcome to my backyard. Um, my name is Catherine and you are gonna get to do a painting with me today. We're actually gonna do a painting that ends up pretty similar to this one. Um, so I am an artist, that's what I get to do every day is either paint or draw and I love what I get to do. And I'm so glad that I get to share it with you today. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna kind of copy this painting. It's gonna end up looking mostly like it, but probably everybody is gonna do theirs in a little bit of a different way. And I'm gonna teach you step by step how to do the painting. So I'll tell you kind of which colors to mix, where to put them on the canvas, and we'll take it step by step and break it down that way. Um, we are going to do this in acrylic paint. So if you happen to have acrylic paint at your home, that's going to be a great option. If you don't, just kind of look through your drawers, see if you can find maybe some um, watercolors or some chalk that you could use. You could also do markers or crayons, whatever you have at home, you can make this work. Um, so we're going to go through kind of a little bit of a supply list. You might want to grab your parents for this one. We'll go through all the supplies, gather those up in your home. If you want to do this outside, that might be a great option if you think you might be a little bit of a messy painter um, or at your kitchen table or basement, garage, wherever you might be able to. All right, so we'll step over here and go through our supplies that we're going to gather. All right, so you definitely want to grab some paper plates, plastic plates, styrofoam, whatever you have. Grab a couple of those. Um, and then see if you can find a couple of paint brushes. So maybe one that's a little bit bigger and then maybe a couple of small ones. You don't need a ton of them, but grab a couple of paint brushes. Um, some sort of water jar. So it can be a solo cup or, you know, whatever kind of cup, but grab a little bit of water in there for cleaning your brushes out. A pencil, we'll need that for outlining things later. And then you probably want some paper towels just in case it gets a little messy. Um, and then see if you can grab a couple of different round shapes. So you might find that these are, you know, Tupperware lids or your mom's bowl or another solo cup, but you wanna have a couple of different round shapes and we're gonna use those for the hot air balloon outlines later on. And then these are probably the colors you'll need. So um, you definitely want a white, a green, a red, a blue, and a yellow. If you find more colors than that, you can use more, but see if you can find at least those colors um, and we'll get started with those ones. All right, let's hop back over here and start painting. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little bit of my white paint and go ahead and lay out a couple of my paints. Now, if you don't have acrylic paint, um, you might wanna fast forward in the video to the part where we talk about outlining um, the different shapes. Go ahead and fast forward to that. You'll do all your outlines and then come back with marker or watercolor and fill in all the shapes. So if you have acrylic paint, we're gonna go ahead and put some paint out now. But if you don't have that, fast forward in the video till we'll redo the outlines of all the shapes and then you'll come back and paint it step by step. All right, so I've got some of my white out there. I'm gonna put a little bit of green out. Get some of my lovely blue paint for the sky here. Try and make sure it doesn't splatter absolutely everywhere. All right, and then we'll need just a little bit of red and a little bit of my yellow paint. Great. One other thing I forgot to mention, if you wanna grab an old t-shirt Pull it on on top of whatever you're wearing. That way we don't get paint all over everything. All right, so I've got my biggest paintbrush that I'm gonna use, and I'm gonna go ahead and dip it in my water jar. Go ahead and get it a little bit wet, and then pat it off on some paper towels. And what we're gonna do first is I'm gonna pull this guy down and start with a blank white canvas here. So I have my perfectly new, brand new canvas, ready to get it all nice and dirty. All right. So I've got all my five little colors here and we wanna mix up a sky color first. So I've got some blue paint, but your blue paint might be pretty light and you can go ahead and use that. But this is kind of a little dark for my sky. So I think I wanna lighten it up just a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is scoot some of my white paint over towards my blue paint and then add in just a little bit of the blue and kind of swirl it together, mix it together. You wanna mix up a lot of this because we're gonna paint a lot of the blue sky in first. All right, so I'm just gonna load up my brush and what I wanna do is just start painting over the whole top of the canvas. I'm gonna fill in all of this area. 
all the way. If you start running out of paint, you can get your paintbrush a little bit wet and it'll just kind of help smear your paint a little further. Don't worry if it drips down a little bit. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna paint the blue sky all the way down to about right there. And you wanna leave the bottom couple of inches and that's where we're gonna put the ground in. So that green grass along the bottom, you just wanna leave a little bit of room along the very bottom to put that green grass in. All right, so now I'm gonna start smearing my blue paint everywhere, making the whole sky nice and dark. Smearing it everywhere, all the way out to the sides, all the way up to the top. So if you have watercolor or you're doing this in um, crayon or marker or anything, you'll be painting around the outlines of your balloons and just filling in the sky around the outside of your balloons. All right, don't worry if it's all not perfectly the same color. You just want to get blue smeared over most of it. All right, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my paintbrush to the side for a minute and we get to finger paint. How awesome is that? Be careful, don't get this all over mom's dining room. All right, so what I'm going to do is just take my pointer finger and we're going to add some clouds into the sky. The easiest way to do that is just get a little bit of white on your finger and you just start smearing it. Kind of zigzag side to side and kind of smear it on your background. Isn't that awesome how it just looks like a cloud that easily? So I'm going to take a little bit more, maybe put another cloud over here. Just kind of smear it. If it all disappears and you can't see any of the white, just keep adding some more white on top of it if you want it to be a really bright white cloud. All right, so I'm going to have some of the clouds go off the edge of the painting. You can put your clouds anywhere you want to. You can put however many clouds on you want to. Or if you don't want to put any clouds at all, you don't have to. All right, so I'm going to smear some right down here. And then when I get down to the bottom, they're going to be really nice long clouds and have a lot of them down here along the bottom. All right, so some of my longer clouds way back in the background back there. Smear some along the bottom. <clears throat> All right, however many clouds you feel like you need. Go back in and add some more white if you need to. All right, I think I'm done with that one. So I'm gonna go and wipe off my finger. Make sure I get all that paint off of my finger before I touch anything else. We don't wanna get it everywhere. Nice and clean. Well, mostly anyway. All right, so I'm gonna clean off my paintbrush. Clean it off in my water jar here. You might have to kind of scrub it on the bottom. Make sure you get all that paint out of there. I have a nice clean brush. All right, what I'm gonna do next is mix up a little bit of white with some of my green to do my grass along the bottom. So I've got my white and my green next to each other and I'm just mixing up a little bit of green and a little bit of white together right there. You might have a really light green paint and you can just use that all by itself, but if you have kind of a darker green, you might wanna add some white to it. All right, so I've got that and I'm just gonna fill in that whole bottom section. So anything along the bottom is gonna get grass. Now we have some land. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and put my water, or my paintbrush in my water, and we get to finger paint again. So we're gonna go straight into the green paint all by itself with none of the white added to it, but I'm just gonna grab a little bit of the green paint on my finger, and we're gonna add some trees in. So right here where the land meets the sky, I'm just gonna do little dots of trees right there. It's just kind of a little forest I'm putting in. So I might do a little bit on this side and I might come over here to this side, do a little bit over here 
Maybe there's a couple of trees that are taller. Again, it's up to you how many trees you want to put in. I think I'm going to put a couple of other forests kind of dotted throughout my grass down here. Maybe one right there, maybe one kind of in the middle. And maybe I'll do some right here along the bottom too. So you can fill in the whole area with trees if you want to, or just do a couple of them. we're good to go. So make sure and clean off that finger, not get it on anything. And then you want to wait probably about 10 to 15 minutes before we go to the next step. So you want the whole background to be totally dry. Make sure there's nothing wet on it at all. So sometimes if you leave the painting outside, but you could even use a hair dryer, kind of dry it off, but wait 10 to 15 minutes before we go to the next step. All right, so we're gonna find the biggest round shape that you wanna have first. So we're gonna put in our biggest hot air balloon first, and I'm gonna do mine kind of about halfway up on the canvas and a little bit over to the right-hand side of the canvas. So it's about halfway up on the canvas, a little bit over to the right-hand side, and all you're gonna do is draw a big circle around it to start with. Okay, so that's gonna be our first hot air balloon. Just draw a big circle around there. And then what you want to do is come down kind of in the middle of the circle and just draw a little line along the bottom. So a little line right along the middle of the circle down at the bottom. And then we're just going to connect that over to the edge of your balloon. So wherever the big part of your balloon is, just do a line that connects. So I've got my line right along the bottom, about an inch or so below the balloon. And then I'm just going to connect the dots kind of up to the corners of the balloon right there, up to the corners of your circle that you have. All right, so that's our first balloon. And right under the bottom of there, I'm going to skip about half an inch and draw a little square. And that's going to be the basket of the balloon. So these hot air balloons, do you know that people actually fly in that little, they sit in this basket underneath this giant balloon that lifts them way up into the sky. Sounds a little scary to me. All right, so next we're going to go with your second size um, balloon. So not the largest one, but your second size down. So I'm going to use this nice little bowl right here. And I'm going to do my second balloon over kind of on the left side of the canvas, maybe a little higher. Now these are just my balloons, but you can fill the whole sky up with balloons if you want to. If you want to just do one giant balloon right in the middle of it, that's totally fine. If you want to do 15 teeny tiny balloons floating all throughout your sky, it doesn't matter what size they are. You just want to have a couple of balloons on here. So I'm going to do the second one and do it kind of over to the left hand side a little bit. So I'm drawing my circle around my second shape. And then I'm going to do the same thing right in the middle of the circle, right at the bottom, I'm going to draw a short little line and then I'm going to connect that over to the corner of my circle. That's going to be my balloon shape. And then right underneath that one, I need a basket too. So I'm going to skip about half an inch and draw a little square or rectangle right underneath that for the basket of that balloon. All right. So I've got to pick a couple other size that, sizes that I want to do for my balloon. So. I'm thinking maybe I'll use this size next. All right, I'm going to put this one kind of in between those two balloons. I'm doing my circle around it. And then this one's just going to have a little area right underneath it, a short little line. Connect it over to the sides of your circle. And then I'm going to draw a small little square right underneath that one since this balloon is a little further away. And then maybe I'm going to use the bottom of this cup for the next sizes. All right, so I've got one balloon. Maybe I'll do one right here. And maybe I'll do another one right over here, up towards the top. It really doesn't matter where you do your balloons. You can do them all throughout the sky, way down low. You just wanna have a couple of those balloons in. So right underneath those ones, got a short little line, connect it up to the edge of my circle. Teeny tiny little basket underneath that one. Short little line under this one. Connect it up to the sides. And then I've got a teeny tiny little basket right under there. All right, 
So once you get your sky kind of filled out with a couple of balloons, however many you want to, we're ready to get back to painting. All right, so now is the fun part when you get to decide what you want to put on your hot air balloons. So I'm going to do some stripes and some different patterns, but you can do whatever you want. You can make them all solid one color. You can do an emoji on them. You could do your favorite superhero or polka dots, zigzags, uh, flowers. Look around your room, maybe get some inspiration or look around outside. You can do whatever you want, whatever kind of pattern, whatever kind of design on there. So you might want to spend a little bit of time thinking about, all right, what do I want to decorate my balloons with? Or you can do stripes. So a lot of hot air balloons have stripes that go up and down. And that's what I'm going to do at least for a couple of mine. So I think this first one, I want to do some yellow and white stripes. So I'm going to mix up some yellow and some white. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of white to my yellow just because that'll make it a little bit thicker and then have it be a nice light yellow color. And to do the stripes, what I found to be the easiest way to do stripes, because it's kind of hard to do a straight line sometimes, right? Is if you just start in the very middle of your balloon and just kind of cut a line straight down the middle of your balloon. And then as you do these stripes on the balloons, where the balloon is really thick and fat, you're going to make your stripe be a little bit thicker and fatter right there. And then when it starts to get skinny again on the balloon, I'm going to make my line be a little bit skinnier on there. All right, and then just fill in that stripe. Now, you can see, you can kind of see some of the cloud through the middle of there. That's okay. Some of the colors you can still see through, and you'll just come back and add a second coat to those ones if you want to. All right, so I've got my first stripe of yellow right there. And then I'm gonna leave a little gap where I'm gonna put my white stripe in yet next. And so I'm gonna add another little yellow stripe right here on the edge. And then just come back and make it a little thicker where the balloon is at its thickest part. All right, so thicken up that line right there. That's gonna be my white stripe. Then I have yellow, then I'm gonna have a white stripe right there. So I'm gonna have a big yellow stripe right over here and leave room for one more white stripe over on that left hand side. All right, now when I switch to another color, I wanna make sure and wash out my paintbrush really well so that I don't get all that yellow paint mixed in with my white. So I'm gonna wash out my paintbrush really well before I jump to the next color. All right, so I have a nice clean paintbrush to jump into my next color. So I wanna do white stripes on the other side of it. You might choose to do purple or blue, whatever color you want to do. All right, so I'm going to come in in between those yellow stripes, do some nice white stripes. Don't worry if your lines aren't perfectly straight. Mine aren't either. Don't look too close. Perfect, one balloon down. So if you can still see behind the background of there, again, don't worry about that. You just come back in and add another layer once that's dry. So maybe give it 10 minutes, go ahead, work on another balloon, and then you can come back to that balloon and add a second coat to it if you want to. All right, so what am I gonna do for my second balloon? I think I like the rainbow balloon. So I'm gonna do that and mix up that color next. So my rainbow, I'm gonna start with red first. So I'm going to take some of my red paint, 
maybe mix a little bit of white to it because sometimes red paint is a little see-through. So if you add a little bit of white to it, it kind of thickens up the paint. So I'm gonna take my red, add a little bit of white to it. And come over here on this balloon and the first stripe we do is gonna be this nice red color. right along the right hand side, this balloon. So make sure and remember, skinny part of the balloon, you have a really skinny line. And then when it gets to the fat part of the balloon, you go ahead and thicken up that line and make it a little thicker. All right, before I go to the next color, what do I have to do? Oh yeah, clean my brush. All right, next color I'm gonna do is orange. Now, you might have some orange paint at home. If you don't have any orange paint, you can mix red and yellow together and maybe a little bit of white and it will make orange paint. So there's your little color mixing lesson for the day. So I don't have any orange paint with me. I'm gonna mix some red and yellow together, maybe add a little bit of white to it. Mix, 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 mix my red and yellow, add a little bit of white to it, and I've got a nice orange color. All right, so next stripe on the balloon. Just put it in right next to that red one. Come all the way down, when the balloon starts getting skinny, make sure your line gets a little thinner right there. Wash my brush out before I go to the next color. All right, next color I'm gonna do is that bright yellow. So I already have some of that mixed up. All right, I'm gonna jump in, kind of have my line down the middle. All right, wash my brush out before we go to the next step. The next color I'm gonna do is green. So you can do just green all by itself or you can mix a little bit of white to it to make it a lighter green color. I've got some of my white and green mixed here together. And I'm gonna come in and add that next stripe on the balloon. Brush out. All right, the next color I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do, I think a blue stripe next. So I've got some of my blue. You wanna make sure it's not the same color as the uh, sky or you might be, not be able to see it show up. So I'm gonna make a little bit of a darker blue to do my blue stripe with. All right, I've got some blue with just a little bit of white added to it. And I'm gonna save room for a purple stripe at the very end. So I'm gonna kind of divide this space left in half, fill half of it up with my blue stripe and leave half of it to do a purple stripe with.
All right, wash the brush out. All right, so the last stripe is gonna be purple. If you don't have any purple paint, there's a special way to mix some purple paint. I am gonna take some of my red and a little bit of my blue and a little bit of white and it's gonna magically make purple. So I've got my red, my white, my blue. I'm gonna keep swirling till they all get mixed in together. All right, so my last stripe on my rainbow balloon I'm gonna come in here with this purple and finish out the balloon. So while I have that purple color right there, I think I want to make a balloon that's pink and purple together. So I'm going to go ahead and use that purple color I already have. And let's do this guy. I think I'm going to do him pink, purple, pink, purple. So the top, I'm going to do kind of the top part of the balloon in purple. Let's do some stripes this way. And then I'm going to leave part of that for pink and come down here and let's do another purple stripe right down here. And then I'll leave the very bottom and come back with some pink paint and do the bottom part and pink down there. All right, wash your brush up. Now, if you don't have any pink, which I don't have any pink here, so I need to mix some, I am gonna take some of my white and mix it in with some of my red, and that's gonna make a great pink color. So I've got some of my red right here, and I'm gonna mix even more white with it. All right, so I'm gonna come in and do those stripes in between the purple. I think when you get done with this painting, you should have each of the members of your family pick which hot air balloon they want to sail away in. And then you can name each of them after their family, right? Or maybe your dog wants to sail away in one of them. All right, so then you get to pick what colors you want to do for the last ones. I'm thinking I'm going to do an orange one and maybe a yellow one right over there. All right, so the one last thing we have to do in paint is add in the baskets. Because we gotta have some people sailing away in these, right? So I'm gonna use my orange paint. If you still have some orange mixed up, if you don't have any orange left, just remember it's red, yellow, and a little bit of white. And then I'm gonna add a little bit of purple 
and a little bit of green to that to just kind of make it into a muddy brown color. So whatever you need to make to make kind of a muddy brown color, usually it's just a lot of different colors added together to make kind of a yucky color. But I'm gonna make kind of a muddy brown color to do my baskets with. So I'm mixing up some colors to my orange, just kind of making it into a muddy color. And we're gonna come in and do the baskets with that color. Yep, looks like I got some mud. All right, so right underneath these guys, all you're gonna come in and do is just fill in that square or rectangle that you did for the baskets. All right, so this one has a teeny tiny little basket. This one kind of has a medium sized one. This one has a little bit of a bigger basket. Maybe there's more people flying in that a hot air balloon. And then this guy has just a little basket. Now, get your teeny tiny smallest brush that you have in the house and we are gonna connect the baskets to the hot air balloons. So all you wanna do is just have a small little brush and we're just gonna do a couple of lines connecting them. So I might have two lines over here, two over on the right hand side. So two on the left, two on the right. Now, if you want to touch up any of your um, colors, so maybe you can see your clouds a little bit, just mix the same colors, come back and add a second layer to those guys and you'll be all set to go. Thank you guys so much for joining me in my backyard to paint today. I've had a lot of fun doing this. See you guys soon.